Hey, what is going on guys? Welcome back to Life is Strange Before the Storm Part 3. I'm here with my boyfriend Christian. Hey, what is going on guys? So, um, hope you guys enjoyed like uh, Life is Strange Part 1 and Part 2. And, uh, yeah, if you haven't uh, checked it out yet, make sure you go check it out. So let's check it out. Yeah. Well, at least not for now. Sci-fi movie club. New, new, new. Drugs. Maybe this play won't suck. Maybe. Probably will. So we should definitely look for some graffiti and stuff. This place yeah. Without a little chemical assistance. <laughs> Drugs. They will mess you up. You know, I like the how they did the details in this game. You know, it's like. It's really nice. I do like it. I like the graphics too. Yeah, I do too. It's nice that Elliot always wants to do stuff with me. I just Let's haven't been him. in the doing stuff mood lately. See you in class. So Steph, let's see what it takes from him, I guess. Hey, I'm at the picnic tables with Mikey. Thanks on my way. Let's go see him. Damn, girl. That eye looks sick. Mm. What's going on? Crazy house party later with your Amber. Crazy house party? Yeah, may as well. Last I mean, night, I scoped out this crazy party at the old mill up north. Kind of a DIY thing. Wow, no shit. I thought that place was like, Meth Central. Meth My Central? Cousin met this hooker there. Whatever. It was cool, okay? You wouldn't understand. Oh, I guess we can ask everything. Hey, out of the blue question, what do you think of Rachel Amber? She is amazing. Uh, if you're into chicks that are hot, smart, and hot. <laughs> I mean, she helped me out a while back. He I seems like such a stoner. Algebra. Yes, he does. Hard. I believe you. Check it. After I bombed my midterm last fall, Check she it. tutored me for the rest of the semester. And then I crushed it. C+. Plus. <laughs> All right. Guess I'll see you in class. Word. See you in class. See you in class, Justin. All right, where to now? Hmm. Let's go check over on this side. So we spoke to Elliot already. Checked mm -hmm. out this board. This Skip. here is Skip. This is name Skip. Oh, I guess we can't talk to him. I think we can. <clears throat> oh yeah, we can. Hey, Skip. Stopped any gang wars lately? Not today. Oof. Looks like you did, though. Huh? Mm -hmm. Ah, right. Whatever. I did ask Justin Williams' mom to move her Mercedes out of handicap parking. Bad ass. Bad ass. Yeah, you know how I roll. Justin's mom, firewalk show, let's talk later. What do you want to do? Um, I don't know. You decide. So, I went to the mill last night, <clears throat> caught firewalk live. You went to the mill? Wait, you saw a firewalk? It was cool. Whoa, pretty wicked. I didn't know you were into music like that. He's a security guard. <laughs> good music? What? Like good music? <laughs> Preach it, sister. I'm in a band, actually. No shit. Really? We're called Pisshead. <laughs> it's not a big deal or anything. <laughs> That's man. awful. I mean, I'm trying to get our demo out there, but it's hard. His head, huh? <laughs> Would you maybe want to hear it? Our demo, I, I mean. Sure uh, thing. Sure. I remember, if we're nice to people, down the road, if something happens. Yeah, know. that's true. Because this is a, based on yeah, your decision. Okay. Correct. Great. He is a security guard, after all. Are we listening to it right now? I wonder if we're supposed to listen to it all. Yeah. Really? Maybe. I don't know, because think about it. Are we supposed to listen to it all? It did give us the option to leave. Well, if you press the button, what happens? We probably will leave. I just, I'm afraid to press it, and the song, like, get cuts halfway and it says something negative about it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? 
Dude, I hate this shit. Like, when we don't know if it's good or bad. Alright, whatever. So, oh, okay, good. What did you think? Okay, good. Really good. We'll say really good, yeah. That's what, I mean, it honestly wasn't bad. It was really good, man. If Chris had came <coughs> There's a sign the over there to the top left. That shit That's up. probably good, or is that a safe oh, sign? I have no idea. Right on. Awesome, Chloe, thanks. Oh, I think Skip is definitely gonna help us out if something happens. See happen you later, Skip. Oh yeah, because he's a security guard, so we need to. Miss G Gant, Grant, Grant. Need my morning, Miss Grant. Chloe, are you all right? Nope. Yeah, I'm fine. Hmm. Hmm. What do you think of this hypothesis? That you'll be in your seat by the time chemistry class begins today. <laughs> I don't want to ruin the mystery. I think that'd be funny. That sounds highly probable. I don't want to ruin the mystery. What do you want to do? Either one. <laughs> Science is all about discovery, Miss Grant. Guess you'll have to wait and see. <laughs> With all the change that's happening at Blackwell of late, I suppose I can appreciate your consistent wit, Chloe. What kind of change do you mean? Well... The Prescotts have made Ugh. an extremely generous Prescott. donation to the school, which I remember is good, them. but instead of going to support more science and mathematics, it's all being dedicated to the arts. You think this would make a great movie? more money should be spent in the arts? The first it's one, for sure. Exactly. Right? I, recently I really can't tell with this one yet, because I haven't... Receive more support, I don't really know the exact story going on yet. Disagree with me. So far, we went to a... I suppose party in the Ms. barn actually <coughs> sad. and talk to step dad and mom and now we're at school so the arts supports them too things turn around i guess we do that look at it this way miss grant more art classes will keep all the smug self-absorbed types out of your science classroom articulate as always I think that was a good decision we made. Yeah. I think. Let's look around here. Do not walk on the stage. Let's walk on the stage. <laughs> <laughs> that was fast. Let's sit on the stage. Okay, I, I should did nothing. Probably be getting to class, but So you I remember in the first care. one how Chloe was expelled from school? Mm -hmm. I wonder what happened. I guess we'll find out in this one, I guess. Didn't they tell us there or we just forgot? I don't remember. Who's this guy? Principal, I think. Principal Wells. Hi. Oh, yeah. Hi. Chloe Price, is that a black eye? I'm. Uh, yep. I hope you know that Blackwell provides confidential counseling services for all our students. We are a safe space for any issue. I'm good. It's the other guy who needed a safe space from me. You never fail to conform to your reputation, do you? Nope. Miss Price, the sign clearly says <laughs> do not walk on the stage. Such disregard for your fellow students' efforts won't alleviate your record of major infractions. I didn't do it, I swear. <laughs> That's funny. Who are you? Do that one. That's funny. I swear to you, I did not walk on that stage. It was more of a saunter. Do I look amused to you? I don't Slightly. Know. I've only seen you with one expression. <laughs> That's the one. <laughs> That's Perhaps the one. Perhaps <laughs> you will find me less amusing if I mention the various allegations I've been hearing about your drug use. You know Blackwell has a zero tolerance policy. Do I have to initiate a search of your person in order to establish the veracity of these allegations, Miss Price? No, sir. That's what I thought. Mm -hmm. I'll look forward to seeing you in my office after school today. I guess that was the wrong How decision. How does that sound? Um, Actually, no. Uh, Let's do shit. it. All right. It's, something's popping up. I guess, yeah. Oz really has it out for me. I have to convince See? him it's in his best interest to back off. Actually, sir, I'm going to go with no. Ah. So you're going to mouth off to me now, yes? And here I thought your well of witticisms had finally run dry. Principal Wells, I get it. Whoa! 
There's a timer. Oh shit. I didn't read it at all. I'm gonna guess with one. Oh, I get it. Cause your name is Wells, I press right? Y. You go around all day just hoping for an opportunity to make wall references? This must be a big moment for you. <laughs> We're gonna go fast as a timer. Mm -hmm. Jokes? I forgot about in that. In my experience, that's how the guilty cover up their infractions. Uh, article for 20, who's guilty now, the guilty of rights. How did you become principal without learning the Constitution? <coughs> this is going so fast! The no. Fourth Amendment, Can you read it all? legal search and seizure. We are a private institution, and policy allows me to search all students on the premises. I guess, the why? Prescott's policy? I wonder if the Prescott's might reconsider their donation if Blackwell's oh, principal nice. is being sued for harassment. How do you know about the Prescott donation? Perhaps the better question you should be asking yourself is, what else do I know? I'm sure we uh, do not need to make so public an issue of your behavior today. But make no mistake, nice. Miss Price, this is not over. Ooh, Why was it going so good. fast, though? I didn't like that. I love cliffhangers. You didn't get a chance to read it all. Funny. Yeah. Just a couple years ago, three something seconds. like that would have scared the crap out of me. These days, I'm at, like, the collegiate level of not giving any fucks. All that because we sat on the stage? Huh. Weirdly, that makes me interested in walking on the stage. Is there anything else around here, I wonder? Corner? What is this? Smoke? We should be looking for graffitis, right? Oh yeah, Parents. maybe we can behind us? Yeah, I mean, Students like, there's some on the wall. This herd instinct to glom up into little groups, like <laughs> That seems to be and a thing here. If you just want to be alone, you get labeled like some dangerous outsider. Wait, can we write on there where those other people wrote? No, it doesn't seem like it. Hmm, like somewhere else? That wall over there? There it is. Yay. Firewalks. Principal walls. Rocks. Rocks. It's supposed to be rocks, right? But they're spelling yeah. funny. Firewalk rocks or principal walls. Let's get principal walls. I think yeah, he I might guess. like that. Get in his good size so he mm -hmm. can back off. Clearly he's out for us. Mm-hmm. Ladies and gentlemen, Principal Wells. What the fuck is that supposed to mean? Uh, but fire's so pretty. I prefer to wake and bake. But hey, to each no, Chloe. Class is back the other way. Steph and Mikey normally post up somewhere quiet in the courtyard. Wait, what else is there for us to see? I'm going to assume to go to. left over there. And where it says good luck seniors is where we're uh, supposed to go. But let's see if there's other people we need to talk to. The future we got a benefit asshole. from everybody. Yeah. What's your name again? Victoria. Victoria. Doesn't she sound familiar to you? Uh -huh. Victoria Chase. Remember? I'd the first oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. She was a bitch. Oh, we spilled like Price. paint or water on her or something. It's Chloe. Oh, right. Yeah, I think we did. I'm just teasing. People have been taking me so seriously since I won the Beacon's Young Artist Award for my photography. Oh, my God. You don't say. Between that and the Vortex Club, it's hard oh, to the keep Vortex people from putting Club. me up on a pedestal or whatever. But you know all about that. What, with Rachel Amber? Am I right? Vortex Club, Young Assistant, Artist Award. To Vortex Club. You hang with the Vortex assistant. Club? Assistant, I said assistant. I young mean, artist I'm technically award. not a member, but I am being courted. I'm not sure The I... club should be a collection of Blackwell elites, 
But instead, it's some anti-bullying, hand-holding kumbaya shit. Not when I'm a senior. Young Artist Award. Wow. The Young Artist Award. Oh, it's not a big deal or anything. You can't even talk to this girl. She's such a bitch. Yeah. I think we say to her. My photography won. Congrats, I guess. Your eagle student roof. So yeah. the beacon's putting me up on the front page of the lifestyle section. I don't like her. Who cares? <laughs> it's okay, we get her with paint. Wait. What about Rachel Amber? Rachel posted a slamming selfie of you two having the time of your lives. Do tell. Tell what? We murdered a man? Ha! <laughs> I guess I should say tell what. <laughs> Instead tell of being a smart ass all the time. It's a photo. Big deal. But it's on Facebook. I, I mean, that basically Facebook. means you and Rachel are like BFFs. So BFFs. Yeah. So what's she? Did you notice that? They're using Facebook. Yeah. yeah. What's her thing? Cr crazy. Is wow. it drugs? I'm not judging or anything. I figure if she's hanging out with you, she must be into some effed up shit. <laughs> you know? Well, I mean, excuse me. Look at your face. <gasps> Seriously, I don't know why you're talking to me about she's Rachel. She's rude. She's like oh, putting her nose where it her. doesn't belong. Little Miss Perfect. So you're jealous of Rachel Amber. That's what's happening right now. Gotcha. Oh, God, I don't have time for this. <coughs> I didn't even finish the chemistry assignment, and you're being you. Oh. Nah, eh, let's not stop Just just walk away. Be, we'll be the adult here. Why would Rachel Amber ever hang out with Carrie Price? Carrie Price. <laughs> she walks. Such attitude in that walk. There's like two more people to talk to, huh? No, wait, no, two more. We talked to him already. Evan. Chloe, I'd like to talk to you about wildfire awareness and prevention. Good morning to you too, Evan. According to the Department of Forestry, over 90% of this season's fires were caused by humans. That's a record high and completely preventable. Huh, <sighs> let's see here. Wildfires are awesome. Why are you doing this later? Wildfires are awesome. Who says we should prevent fire? Fire is awesome. If it wasn't for the first one, I might While be making I really bad being decisions right now. Obstructive, you raise a good what point. Mean? Remember, there's consequences of the system you make. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Knob cone pine cones, for example, we which require get everyone to be above our friend. 350 degrees to open. Because if we're in trouble, say knob cone again. Knob cone. No. Why are you doing? Oh, this so it doesn't matter, I guess. Right? I guess, not, I I guess some people does. Some, I mean, some conversations this. it does, and some it doesn't. My interest in I guess only when it gives us a time thing, right? sincere. Mm -hmm. Besides, I intend to get into college on the strength of my photography alone. Do you think Rachel Amber would be willing to pose for my portfolio? They keep bringing up Rachel Amber so a lot. Yeah, they really are. I bet she would be a dream model. What do you think? She was I missing in the last game, wasn't she? That was her, right? Yeah. Run. Wait, one last thing. Will you sign my petition to have a fire safety assembly at school? Sure, buddy. Sure. I love assemblies. Some of the best naps of my <laughs> life. If she said, if she said, sure, buddy, because wow, you should, said, sure, buddy, I would not see I that been like, so I mean, <laughs> you know, interested in complicated issues, helping out with the public. <coughs> Do you want me to change my mind? I. No. How seriously am I taking this right now? Clay Let's Price. just, yeah. There you go. Just don't expect this to become a habit. Blackwell Academy. Home of tomorrow's leaders. What does it say, Principal Dix? Big. Mm, what does it say? I can't tell. Mick, huge balls. Yeah, big Mick, huge balls. We were the only one who actually signed our names, but that was nice of us. What? Caring about important issues. <clears throat> Caring in general. Looks like one more person. It says. That's the dormitories over there. Steph and Mikey, what are they doing? Playing some sort of game, it looks like. Wait, is Steph the one that texted us? If I had known the Celestia... Oh, oh yeah, Steph. What is it? I, I think it is her. Given him my potion. It was a skill challenge. Yeah, potion it's her. wouldn't have worked. Skill challenge? It's part of the tabletop game we play. You wouldn't understand. <laughs> Try, Try me. Try me. 
Give me a break, nerds. I've heard of tabletop games. Cool. Got my DVD? One Blade Runner. Director's cut coming right up. Sweet. Five bucks, right? Keep it. I'm just glad someone here appreciates the classics. You even asked for the director's cut, which took out the shitty voiceover and replaced it with a sweet dream sequence. Dream life over real life. That's my motto. <laughs> right on. Hey, do you know if Rachel's a gamer? Rachel Amber? A game with Rachel. Yeah, asked everyone her just me. asked about her. Didn't Anybody. Did you go out last night, or was it just like a friend thing? We're not friends. What's it to you? Why do you want to know? <laughs> Steph has a crush. Chloe, you should join our game. Yeah, I don't have 50 hours right now. Thanks, though. We're at the end of the campaign, so it'll only take, like, 20 minutes? What else have you got to do before class? Sure, wait. <clears throat> same, same other time? Some other time. Sure, let's do it. Yeah. What the hell? Hopefully it's not Game actually on, 20 minutes, so... <laughs> Here's a character sheet. You are an elf barbarian. <laughs> Why is that funny? Just say I'm totally an elf barbarian. I like that. Nice. I could totally see myself as an elf barbarian. I know. I'm good. All right. Let's get started. You are both famous heroes in the kingdom of Avernon, a once peaceful land now laid to waste by the bloodthirsty raiders of the Black Well. Alone, you have fought your way through the raider camps, seeking their warlord leader, Durgaron, the Unscarred. Dur As you enter the final camp, bloodied and weary, you see your fellow hero approaching from the opposite direction. Oh shit, you're really gonna make a play. I thought I'd Raise my staff to you and greet you. I am Elamon, wizard of the Third Circle, foremost advisor to King Tiberius, and sworn defender of Averna. Introduce your character. Y yeah, okay. Uh, I'm an elf barbarian named... Uh, named Calamista. Calamastia. Oh, just kidding. <laughs> Super into it. Not bad. The two heroes... Hold on. Elamon narrows his eyes at the elf in front of him and says, I am here to defeat Durgaron, the Unscarred. In the name of King Tiberius, what makes you think you are worthy to fight alongside me? Because we're bad ass. Um. Where do I get your sheets? I once made a man kebab? Yeah. I once made a man kebab. Yeah. I once stabbed a guy in the chest with a sword, and it went all the way through and <laughs> killed the guy behind him, too. True story. You stand at a three-way crossing. To your left, the raider's training ground. To your right, their prison camp. Straight ahead, an enormous, ostentatious tent that could only belong to Durgaron, the Unscarred. Which way do you go? Straight ahead, right? We're supposed to kill the Dur dude. Elamon <laughs> frowns. The raiders could have some good loot at the training ground, and surely it is our duty to free all those prisoners. Your choice, newbie. Where do you wish to go? Mm, prison camp? Prison camp? Yeah. Guess it's time to free some peeps. Let's go to the prison camp. You behold a field of standing iron cages, each imprisoning a human villager, calling out for you to free them. Only a small, elderly dragonkin is keeping watch. He notices you, and in terror, runs into one of the few empty cages and locks himself in. Ah, poor little guy. What's a dragonkin? Dragonkin are like little dragon people. They're assholes. I bet he has all the keys. Ah, oh, okay. Hey, shitface! Get out of there! The dragonkin hops up and down, shaking his ring of keys at you. He shouts in a strange language. Whatever he's saying, probably isn't flattering. Got any useful spells in that robe of yours? Nothing that wouldn't blow up the cage and everything in it. Intimidate, pick the lock, tent with beard. Uh, oh, with bread, not beard. 
Bread, right? <laughs> this is bread, right? Yeah, not beard. God, man. Um, I don't know. Intimidate. <laughs> That's a skill I have. <laughs> beard. Can I do that? I want the little bastard to shit his pants. You can try. What do you say? Listen up, you little lizard. Unfortunately, he doesn't speak common, which means he can't. I cast communication on the dragonkin. Shit. Really? Now he can understand every word you say. Time to work some real magic. So this is called a skill Unbelievable, really minute. Where you try uh, to use oh, I know what thing for is. this. <laughs> I grab the bars of the cage and lean it's in. It's not real. Nice and close. He steps back. His <laughs> scaly skin quivering. I never played feet. anything like this what do you when say? I was younger. Dragons are pussies, shoes, meat puppet. Dragons are pussies. Everybody knows that. The time thing is way too fast. Mm -hmm. That's why they hide in caves and only come out to breathe fire on sheep and eat cows and shit. It yeah, that's crazy. That was a mistake. Really the dragonkin growls, snapping at you and showing his teeth and claws. Tall one is a fool. Dragons are gods, he says. Damn. Wait, I can make a terror title. Uh, sure. You're short, I say. But you can always get shorter. Give me the key, or I'll chop off your legs and beat you to death with them. No, no, please don't do that. Still, I cannot give key. Durgaron will eat me. I think he's close to breaking. I twirl my axe around, badass style. Eat this, lizard. How? Yay! Badass. Really badass. Seventeen. That's pretty badass. The we won. Dragon Kin I hope so. towers before you, looking left and right. He opens his jaws, and you think he's about to yell for help. I interrupt his yell by shoving my axe into the cage, pinning his head to the bars without hurting him. Then I say the following. This is going to be good. Here's what's <laughs> up. I'm going to carve the skin from your bones. Then I'm going to turn your skin into a little leather handbag that I'll shove your skinless body into so I can carry it around with me wherever I go. That way, the next time some asshat refuses to give me a key I want, I can pull your body out and show them what happens. How does that sound? Uh, wow. Asshat reminds me of something Dean from Supernatural would say. I'm going to give you yes, a plus <laughs> 10 bonus to charisma. Go ahead and roll. A small pool of urine collects under the elderly dragonkin as, hands trembling, it hands you the keys. Then, it dies of fear. Awesome. Yeah! Go team! Why don't you start unlocking the prisoners? I'm on it. As you free them, the prisoners run away from you in fear. What's next? I guess the training ground, right? Uh, yeah? Maybe. <laughs> that sounds good. Let's go to the training ground. Sweet. Upon arriving at the training ground, you are spotted by a heavy set orc who immediately shouts and points. There are a dozen raiders on the training field. Another dude, all huh? Of whom raise their weapons and charge. Okay. So what do we do? I cast Urgle's Acid Blast. Um, overkill? Damn. <laughs> You conjure up a wave of acid that washes over the charging orcs. Every raider suddenly starts screaming and writhing in pain. There's a sweet and sour kind of smell as the flesh melts. I wonder if this game is referenced to anything. Like yeah, that's true. Wax. <laughs> I can't Holy think of shit. anything. Neither can I. You see why I haven't really needed a partner? The heavy set orc <laughs> sergeant still <laughs> remains. He runs at you, swinging a massive warhammer. All yours. Fiddle cleave, knee slam. Fiddle cleave sounds pretty fatal. Okay. okay, let's end this. Fatal cleave. You swing your great axe downward with both hands. The orc blinks, then splits open like a hot dog bun. Fuck yeah! I'm awesome at this game. It's going well. What about the loot? Well, as the training ground is now a roiling pit of acid, it's unlikely any loot survived. Dang. Oh, that's stupid. Um. We all make mistakes. Don't worry, Alamon guy. We all make mistakes. Alamon, <laughs> nods. Calamastia, the elf barbarian, is most wise. 
and forgiving. Oh, What's next? so sweet. Warlord's tent. It's tent time. You enter the tent to find dirt. This better benefit us in the future of this of game. <laughs> Sitting comfortably at his throne. I hope so. He's I think this is actually like minotaur, in real life, almost twenty minutes. In a fine black <laughs> Feels that cloak, way. Gripping a two-handed sword that's easily six feet long. I mean, it's cool that his they put it in. It's a little excessive, hot, hot, just a little hot, hot, smidge hot, 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 hot. long. Your land but and people are like I said, it better. I'm sure it'll benefit us. What's the point of having yeah, this whole game? I agree. Your kingdom was weak. You are weak. What an asshole. I got this. I cast Zael's Cataclysmic Cone of Fire. The fire fizzles out on contact. Durgeron laughs again, holding up his right arm to show off his bracer of fire immunity. Shit. All of my battle spells are fire-based. Except for, you know, Acid Blast, which someone used unnecessarily to show off for Chloe. Calamastia? <laughs> What'll it be? Hmm. Brutal um, Punch, wrathful, wrathful rush, rush. rush. Annihilation Strike sounds better though, doesn't it? That does sound pretty cool. Either one of those two, yeah. Wrathful Rush or Annihilation Strike. Annihilation. Oh, holy shit! Uh, annihilation Strike. That sounds boss as fuck. One? One. That's bad, right? Not for me. As you take your first step, you trip on a rock, collapsing onto the ground in a clangy jumble of metal. Your axe swings wildly to the side. Mikey, roll a reflex save. Oh, you better no. roll something good, Mikey. Three. Your axe God strikes damn it, Elamon's Mikey. leg. Ha! Um, Friendly fire. Legs. Plural. Severing both feet at the ankles. This game is awesome. Yeah. This game is awesome. My feet? Durgeron moves toward <laughs> the crippled feet? Elmon. Oh, shit. I told you this was my best boss. You didn't tell me my character might die. Durgeron approaches, stomping his bloody hooves. Stomp. 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 This is all my fault. Sort of. What should I do? Uh... Jump in front of Elamon. I... Jump in front of Elamon. Wow. Thanks, Chloe. I mean, thanks, Calamastia. Okay. Durgeron has now turned his attention toward you. Bring it. He charges, thrusting madly with his great sword. Shit! Oh, no. Your attempt to dodge his thrust fails. Durgeron laughs as he impales you on his blade, lifting you high into the air. Seriously? I can't do anything with that stupid bracer. I'm sorry, Chloe. Hey, I chopped your feet off. We're even. <laughs> you feel your strength draining away as Durgeron lifts you higher into the air. It hurts like hell. What do you do? Swing for his head? Arm is closer, isn't it? True, yeah, I guess. I bring my axe down onto his arm. Oh? The one with the fire bracer thingy oh we got the brilliant you have illuminati to high, to high thing symbol on the top You're left almost dead 20 20 <gasps> fuck yes yeah. you bring your axe down in a wicked chop severing his ooh, arm completely ooh. his bracer of fire immunity clings to the ground i cast gignomi's fire strike of flame oh snap lying on the ground <laughs> you conjure a flaming spear which flies from your hands to spear wow, Durgeron really was 20 in the chest. In real life, yeah, that's crazy. Him completely <clears throat> from the inside out. Damn, Elamon. Durgeron is defeated, but your wounds were too great. I'm afraid Calamastia is dead. Dun, dun, I actually feel dun. sad right now. Better to have died a hero than live as a coward. That was fun. Check out what I drew. Mikey's got serious drawing skills. Uh, is that awesome. us? I think, I think so. so. Glad you enjoyed it, Chloe. Yeah, I'll adventure with you anytime. <laughs> we'll see. Better save our life in, down the road. I know something's gonna happen. Thanks for the game, nerds. 
I think we've talked to everybody now, right? Check. Next stop, chemistry class. Joy. <laughs> Should we take this bike and go for a spin? That'd be fun. Nope. <laughs> it's like a BMX bike. So, we have to go to that stupid game, but you can't give us a bike to ride? Unbelievable. Rude. Good luck, seniors. Ugh. What like the this. hell? The Prescott's, right? What have you got here? I don't know. Is Twitch? that him? Isn't don't it him? Call me that. True yeah, North. I think so. Nathan oh, Prescott. I remember oh, yeah. him. Oh, bad. Guess Nathan Prescott made the show. <coughs> oh, wow. This is some really weird crap, Prescott. It's not yours. Give it back. I hate that you're on the team now. You're such a loser. What do you want to do? Mm, take it elsewhere. Want to take this elsewhere, guys? I just, like, I want to be as smart as, but at the same time, I know that there's consequences in this game, and it seems like we can't rewind whoa, this whoa. game, you so... You earn a spot on the squad, Twitch. Whatever we say sticks. Yeah. The coach. At least my family pays tuition. That was the best part about the last one, you know? I know, I agree. Again? Wow. I missed that. Dick move, Nathan. My dad lost his job at the shipyard when your dad closed it down. And you want to talk shit to me? Leave Nathan alone. You know something, Prescott? I'm going to do you a favor. You can't be a part of the team and be into this stupid crap at the same time. You're All right, that's a little piece fucked up. of shit. I am going Stop to it. kill you. You guys, stop. Chloe, do something. Don't just stand there watching. Step in or stay out? I guess step in. The only way to stop a bully is to be aggressive. I've got to put Drew down. Back off, idiot. What the hell did you just say to me? Idiot? Back off or leave now? Idiot. Idiot? You're not used to a word that big, are you? Don't be scared. You're seriously defending Nathan Prescott? Nathan's an easy target. Yeah. How about picking on someone your own size? Which I hear is pretty small. <laughs> You're such a crazy uh... freak. Mind your own business. Um, what if you write so that you know it's crazy? Crazy, that's true? I don't know. You have no idea how crazy I am. Keep pushing and find out. You want a piece of this? A piece of cake or bromance? You mean your budding bromance with Nathan? You're clearly into him. Just pull his hair already. Yay, yeah, 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 we got it. <laughs> did you just laugh? I did. <laughs> Chloe just owned you. Shut the girl. fuck up, fresh meat. You shut the fuck up. Oh. Go, Samantha. Guess you got lucky this time, Prescott. Had two girls show up to save you. That is Take a little embarrassing, though. <laughs> book. Right? Hmm? That is a little embarrassing, though, right? Are you okay? Yeah. You think I, I was I actually got like sucked into you? that. You're welcome. Little <laughs> <coughs> douchebag. Are you all right? I guess we did take his manly head away. Sticking up for him. Look, security. People think just because of his family. Oh, wait, we're cool though, right, buddy? We're cool. <laughs> no problem, Skip. Took you that long, Skip? Really? That long? That's a shitty security guard. Time to go to chemistry class. That's why they call him Skip, because he skips things. That was a knee slapper. <laughs> <laughs> That's mom. She works Let at the diner, talk. right? Me too. I know you're doing your best. Love you. Love you There's too, Madre. Here. What is this? That pick would actually make a sweet tattoo. Alright, let's get going inside Blackwell. Ooh la la! Oh, you're here! That's... 
That's Rachel, right? I think so. It looks like her. The one that we saw the other at the barn. Yeah. I do beseech that is her. Chiefly that I might set it in my prayers. What is your name? Miranda. Oh, my father. I have broke your hest to say so. Good. Admired Miranda. Indeed worth what's dearest in the world. Many a lady I have eyed with best regard, and many a time had listened to... Many a time, the harmony of their tongues... Hath I listened to... Hayden, you're killing me. You've had weeks to be off book. Sorry, Mr. Keaton. No, don't apologize to me. Apologize to your scene partner, who's been very accommodating, and to your other fellow actors, and most of all, to yourself. Mr. Keaton! Sorry to interrupt, but does this look better? I had my mom take it in a bit. Rachel looks awesome. This is getting as surreal as us? last night. Wow. I think she did. Looking good, Rachel. Is Chloe really? like girls? Exquisite I think so, Rachel right? as always. Seems Mr. Keaton, <laughs> I'm still guess. having trouble with my know. affections are then most Do you remember anything from the first one? I have one? no ambition to see a goodlier man. No, I, don't I mean, think so. Does she really mean that? Especially because I just I straight out told her I've been all to her the ladies. Right like, uh, yeah, that is hard. Shows it off. We've talked about that line forever. We need a fresh perspective. The question is... Are Miranda's feelings of instant passion for Ferdinand just inexperience in dramatic circumstances, or has she actually just met the love of her life? What do you think? Mm, it's true love. Sometimes, when you meet someone who's going thing. to change your life, mm -hmm. you just know it, I guess. Also, you've got parents coming to see the show, right? At 20 bucks a ticket, it's gotta be true love. <laughs> wow. Fair enough. A romantic or Anderson. 20 minutes for a uh, dungeon That game. actually kinda helps me. Thanks. Thanks, Mr. Keaton. Later. See you later, guys. Oh, no. I have first period improv with a class full of freshmen now. Your eye looks fabulous. Where'd you get it done? Uh, what? They seem like they're gonna be BFs. <laughs> Just kidding. That asshole really clocked you. It wasn't a big deal. I'll just be a minute. Like Victoria okay. said. Okay, so why am I here again? Oh, could you grab my belt for <clears> me? <throat> I think it's in my bag over there. Uh, y yeah, sure. Okay, uh, get the belt. Don't say any stupid shit and don't, like, fall down. All right, guys, I think here right? is an excellent area for us to end the video. I really hope you guys have been enjoying it so far. Make sure you guys leave a like and check us out on our social media pages, and we'll catch you in the next video.